So now um, let's build the leading each inventory. So to do that, first let's define the routes. It's going to be a delete route. Inventory controller version delete inventory delete right that works now um let's go to our controller we have delete inventory we have the inventory inventory rejecting it inventory delete again we turn to the list of inventories with a message just deleted an item so from the hall just like uh, my logout we are going to have a form here so we can um, go here to to pick that let's see we did have this sidebar so let's pick a form here or it's going to be inventory dot delete. So you have inventory dot delete. So you have um, delete form. Right, inventory dot delete is the post. And um, in this case, method field is um, delete. So um, again, I just pick this from there. Now to retype. One thing, so it's a on click, it does delete form. So now, once we delete, now um, after deleting, we want to refresh to currently. After deleting, we are redirecting to. After deleting, we are directing to the inventory that uh, a list of our inventory page. Instead, we want to redirect to the trash and list um, inventories on our trash. We don't need to pass the message. Let us, let us do this to the trash straight away. Let's define a view that goes to our trash. Over. Trash. And then inventory inventory so my inventory is using it's going to be inventory you only want to fetch inventories that were deleted so um first let's let's confirm this let's go back to uh, my scroll let's do select star um, Inventories. Oh, wow. Something is, is up. Okay, we've not deleted yet. Because once we delete um, one of the inventory, the, the deleted had to be populated. It will be deleted. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So inventory is trashed. So return view inventory dot trash. Compact inventory. Yeah, this is it. Now let's go to the trash view. Trash .php. And copy the same thing from all copy the PHP into our trash, except that we we'll change the action button. And the action we want here is um purge, we'll change the URL data, restore. So back here, we have trashed. So again. 
impasse the power parameter for trash in. Let's go to hall. So it says within pass the power parameter, which is one nine three five. That's nice. Crash. We'll change it later. We also, I'm just trying to avoid destroying an error. So let's delete um, the data which is TV. Inventory dot trash not defined. Inventory dot trash not defined. Why is it saying that? Oh. Routes inventory dot trash not defined. Let me see where is where is the error coming from. My whole use this and um oh so we said redirect inventory to oh I see where this is coming from inventory dot deletes not defined gets Trash. We don't find the, the route for for the trash page. So let's uh, trash. Trash. So let's submit this again. No for the submission, of course. We express it through that, and that's because it was deleted from the database. So inventories. We have to trash. Okay, trash won't go now because we have to. Put the routes but first let me check the results see now deleted hearts is um it's been populated so let's quickly update the now by the side so for sidebar for the trash we have this inventing the trash Everything is almost taking shape now. So I add it works, I delete works, go to trash. It's not so we need to call the get method with trash then get. Is it oh, with trashed, with trash. The reason why it's returning now, if you go to v, v inventories, it returns two, trash returns three. With trashed returns all results with the trashed item, right? So we don't need with trashed. What we what we want is um only trashed. Yes, only trashed, not not with trashed. So trash now. Yeah, so we are here now. Inventories, inventories work. Trash. So now let's um restore an item. Let's try to restore an item and also push the item. So because now we need to fetch an item all, all the item in the database even with trash. So um we store Item, watch item. So let's let's define the URL. So get restore item, watch to delete, restore. So URL parameter again. Inventory. So we have restore and then push. So there is uh, the restore item and there's the push item. So let's let's do the restore item first. So now since um we would be restoring the item, 
Larvae will be able to resolve this mode of laser basically because it is counted as deleted. So for the um, route parameter, we will just be, we'll be getting the ID, which is an inventory, or we could just leave it at ID. Inventory, my left to have to this makes sense now. This one is standing. So now we need to say um, if item, which is an this does inventory with trashed now trashed where id is an idea inventory id return first there is a result then item because we don't you want it to return in an open exception restore Record restore method to restore it back, and then we can redirect back to this time around, not the trash, but the inventory itself. So, this time around, not the trash, but the inventory itself. Inventory or sources just restored an item. Well, okay, that's it. Um, Restore item. So let's see that I try in our trash. We have inventory of restore this one. Let's see how that works. Not trash. Restore. Yeah. Trash. Nothing there again. Makes sense. Inventory. So um, let's just delete that thing. Saving cheese. This is trash. Now we need to like put a notification here so the user will know that they are just going to die because of trash. I think we need to do that. I just put it like trash updated, something like that. Sources or oh, item not so trash. It makes sense this way. The inventory deletes sources item with trash, so you know you know you're in trash. Right. I just restore good item. Trash. Sources just return an item. So next. We we'll delete this item to trash and then we we'll purge it. So let's go ahead and do that.